County testing ramps up, Sheboygan fireworks canceled, Stricker calls Ryder Cup without fans a yawner. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, service WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, June 4th, 2020. Test results from 312 Sheboygan County residents were released on Wednesday afternoon, and all were negative, leaving the total confirmed coronavirus cases here at 101. That is a new high number of tests on a daily basis. 19 of those 101 confirmed cases are active, while 79 have recovered. No one is hospitalized in the Sheboygan County, and the last person to be treated was released on May 15th. In Wisconsin, 19,400 persons have now tested positive for COVID-19, 483 more than on Tuesday, Downward trends and trajectories of flu-like illnesses and of healthcare workers contracting COVID-19 are now both in the red, holding back the state's standards for easing pandemic-related restrictions. 616 persons, or 3% of cases, in Wisconsin have now died of the coronavirus. A new high of 16,451 Test returns were registered on Tuesday with 483, or 2.9% of those returning positive. Results of mass testing conducted last week, Thursday through Saturday at the Sheboygan County Fairgrounds have not yet been included in any data so far released. However, those figures are scheduled to be released today and also the first weekly report on facility-wide investigations within the country or the county will be released. Although that information may be released later than the cu customary weekly update by the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health. The country's tallest symbol of freedom has torn in half during a powerful storm that ripped through Se Sheboygan overnight. The 70 mile or 70 by 140 foot flag at the top of the acuity flagpole shredded during fierce winds on Tuesday night. And as 66 mile per hour wind gust blew through the county at 912, trees and power lines went down throughout the county, sparking power outages. The highest wind gust reported by the National Weather Service is Southeast Wisconsin measured at 71 miles per hour in Fond du Lac shortly before 9 p.m. It is now official the city of Sheboygan is canceling the 2020 fireworks show. In a press release, Sheboygan Mayor Mike Vandersteen said the city of Sheboygan, along with Festival of Foods, the sponsor of the 4th of July fireworks, have decided to cancel the 2020 fireworks due to the guidance of Sheboygan County's safe restart plan put in place by the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health. An announcement on April 30th had left open the possibility of fireworks being postponed to Labor Day weekend. However, that option is no longer viable and the decision has been made to fully cancel the fireworks this year. What it amounts to is that the city of Sheboygan will not be hosting any 4th of July celebrations this year. This encompasses the festivities, beach events, D-Land Park events, the parade, and the fireworks. These celebrations are planned to resume for the 4th of July on 2021. For those planning to head to the beach on the 4th of July, bonfires this year will only be allowed using one of the four permanent fire rings and no other bonfires on the beach will be allowed. Getting the lead out of water requires replacing the lead water service line and in a typical Sheboygan home that could cost $5,000 or more. 
the plan for paying that bill, as designed by the Sheboygan Water Utility, would involve assistance from the city, but the Wisconsin Public Service Commission had a legal concern with part of that plan that needs to be fixed before they can approve it. The water utility planned to provide assistance in the form of grants of for 50% of the projected costs up to $2,500 and then cover the remainder through municipal ass assessments. The PSC said their concern involves the municipal assessments, but those concerns can be addressed by replacing the assessment portion with an in-house six-year no-interest loan. The rest of the program would remain the same, but the local ordinance would still have to be modified to reflect that change after acceptance by the PSC. The changes were approved and will be resubmitted to the PSC for approval. Stunning views are on the display at state parks around Wisconsin, and people will be able to check them out for free this weekend. Some parts of the park will not be open due to COVID-19 concerns, but from the shoreline of the Sturgeon Bay Shipping Channel to the limestone formations of Niagara Escarpment nearby, Potawatomi State Park has something for just about everyone. And this weekend, the Department of Natural Resources is waiving the fees for fishing, riding the trails, or just visiting the state parks. But not everything is available. Historically, camping is not part of the free fun weekend, but COVID-19 concerns are keeping all sites closed at least through June 7th and maybe even longer. The park office is closed to the public. Yellow tape surrounds the two playground areas and the shelter near the shoreline is shuttered until further notice. Brown Stender tells Fox some other areas are now available, and Sue Selvick and Patty Peterson hiked the Hemlock Trail on Wednesday. They tell Fox 11 the free fun weekend is a chance for anyone to experience the park. And yes, we will see a big difference. A lot of people will be coming, said Sue Selvick, Sturgeon Bay. I think people are just ready to I mean, it is, not, it is still social distancing and doing all the things that are recommended, but it is nice to just get into the park, said Patty Patterson of Sturgeon Bay. The free fun weekend runs June 6th to 7th. After that, the visitors will need to purchase an annual park pass online or over the phone. Saturday is also National Trails Day. In celebration, the Brown County Parks and Rec Department is waiving daily fees and offering free usage of all Brown County trails on Saturday and Sunday. And finally, holding Golf's Ryder Cup th later this year without fans present due to the COVID-19 pandemic would almost make the event a yawner, U.S. Captain Steve Stricker said. Golf's calendar has been decimated by the novel coronavirus outbreak with three of the spots, four major reschedules and the British Open canceled. The biennial Ryder Cup competition between the United States and Europe is scheduled for September 25th to 27th at Whistling Straits in Wisconsin and fans are unlikely to be able to attend if it goes ahead. The event was made by the fans and without it, the fans, it would almost be a yawner of an event, Stricker told Golf Effect Radio. To cheat out the Wisconsin fans would be a crime. I hope when we do have it, it can be up to its full potential. So far, they are planning it as they go and there were some obstacles that we're going to have to face, Stricker added. Reports have said that the PGA of the American and the European Tour will decide this month if the event will go ahead. World number one Rory McLaurie Lorry says he thought the event was unlikely to take place this year and that postponing it would be the right call. More than 106,000 people have died in the United States 
due to the COVID-19 coronavirus. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.